Ramon's drama dates all the way back to the inception of the band, and it has always revolved around Linda Ramon. The current drama sees her trying to stop and prevent a biopic being created for Netflix, starring and written by Pete Davidson. And this thing is based off the book, I Slept with Joey Ramone, written by Joey Ramone's actual brother, Mickey Lee. There's a lot of tangled webs out here, but we're going to slice through it with our drama machete today. Hey, how's it going? My name is Dan Frampton. Thank you so much for kicking back with me here today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you're among the early viewers of the video. That's going to help push it out. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's jump into it. So the initial drama is based around Linda. She calls herself Linda Ramon, and I'm gonna let it fly because nobody's last name was actually Ramon. So the fact that she's still doing it till today is actually kind of funny. So anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. This is all revolving around Linda Ramon because Joey had a crush on Linda, but she ended up with Johnny. There was some tension. And not only did she end up with Johnny, she married him and was with him long term. But Joey and Johnny not only had that to dispute over, but they were different around every single corner political and otherwise. There was always infighting in the band. That's kind of just a thing about the Ramones that everybody knows. There are a lot of people online that claim Johnny was far right and that he may have been a fan of that Austrian painter, but I don't think that we're gonna go that far with it. That's just the conspiracy nuts going absolutely crazy. I'm just gonna leave it at the fact that Joey and Johnny kind of had a rough relationship but managed to make it work because there were shows to play and money to make. But Johnny and Joey are both no longer with us, so there are heirs to the Ramones throne. So that would be Linda Ramone on Johnny's side, and on Joey's side, we got Mickey Lee, his actual brother. Because him and Johnny weren't actually brothers, okay? So I know, it gets pretty confusing. So I think Linda and Mickey got to take a page out of Joey and Johnny's book and kind of just roll with the punches. But they have been at each other's throat for as long as I can remember. And this current legal battle involving Netflix and the show or whatever is not even the first time that they were involved in legal proceedings. Because in 2018, Lee filed a legal action against Linda via private arbitration. Mickey Lee was alleging that Linda Ramone was improperly using the band's intellectual property and unfairly associating herself with the Ramones. She had a project actually called Ramones Ranch. And it turned out the judge kind of sided with Mickey at the time and was even like, hey, Linda Ramone, you can't actually call yourself Linda Ramone. You gotta go by Linda Cummings Ramone. But I don't think that actually stuck. She still goes by Linda Ramone. She has an Instagram page that she is currently very active on. But that's not what we're here to talk about. In 2021, Netflix announced that they're gonna do a biopic for the Ramones. And they're gonna base it off of Mickey Lee's autobiography, I Slept with Joey Ramone. I do plan on reading this book, but I haven't gotten that far in the research process quite yet. Linda lawyers up, and I'm gonna read the lawyer's statement right now. Miss Ramone objects to the defendant's attempts to create a Ramones film without her involvement, not to be obstinate, but rather based on defendant's disregard for Ramones' assets and their conduct and treatment of Miss Ramone and her late husband. To permit defendants alone to tell the authoritative story of the Ramones would be an in justice to the band and its legacy. Yeah, that's right. Linda is saying that this would be an injustice to make this film. And I don't know if I need to remind you, but Linda, you don't need legal permission to tell a story, especially a story that involves facts and a band that was very famous. Anybody can tell that story. Like the very basics of freedom of speech covers that. We wouldn't need to go to Dave Grohl if there was a planned Kurt Cobain biopic, for example. But where it gets kinda tricky and kinda murky is in the copyright music. The producers of the film said that they're willing to go around any hurdle that Miss Ramone puts up in front of them, and that goes as far as re-recording all these songs. But that would be a ridiculous thing to happen. I think that Linda and Mickey Lee need to get together, squash the beef, and just make 
a bunch of money. These biopics can put a whole brand new rocket on a band, especially if the film is good. And a big contributing factor to the film being good would be the actual music. So Linda, let them go ahead and make this film. What's the big deal? Are you so afraid of the contents of that book that you just don't want that out there? Is that what you're afraid of? I'm not too sure. Because otherwise, why don't you just want to roll around in a bunch more money? And even if you don't like the film, Film, you'll have that bunch more money and you can get on your soapbox and be like this film was so bad because of X Y and Z and since you're seemingly the kind of person that likes to kick up a storm about anything wouldn't you want that opportunity to complain about the bad Ramones movie Linda Ramone so yeah I do got to take it upon myself to read this book because maybe within the pages of that book it'll give me the clues as to why I think Linda doesn't want this movie to be made. But Pete Davidson playing Joey Ramone is the funniest casting I could ever think of. He might make it work, sure. And no one's doubting that he's a really big fan of the Ramones. But as a Ramones fan, this whole story just adds hype to the fire and makes me want to see the film even more. I know there's personal issues. I know there are political issues. There are disagreements of every single kind, but there have always been. Joey and Johnny made it work. Now it's time Linda and Mickey do the same. If anybody out there knows these people, send them this video and maybe it'll convince them to smarten the hell up. Because that same judge that sided with Mickey also did say, you guys are both being immature and should settle down. So I don't know why they're both being so thick-headed and stubborn about the whole thing. But anyway, there's only three things you can count on in this world. Death, taxes, and Ramones drama. But I do want to ask, I want to put it out to the audience. Have you read the book, I Slept With Joey Ramone? What do you think? Do you have any game theories as to why Linda Ramone is trying her hardest to stop this film from being made? This is a very famous drama that has been going on for a long time. So maybe somebody out there in the audience has like that nugget of information and maybe they have a nice perfect little conspiracy theory that'll make all of this make sense to me. Because from my perspective, I have no idea why they just don't go, okay, make the movie and then just step away and let it happen, you know? Are the political differences really that bad that they like come to blows over everything because they disagree on who should be the president or whatever? That would be crazy. And I I am aware that people take their politics pretty seriously south of the border. In America, it gets pretty wild out there. And if this was going to be a political film, if the Ramones were a political band, maybe then I could sort of see the argument. But they're not a political band. This isn't about politics. This isn't about the differences in personality and opinion on things. This is about a New York band in the 70s that transcended rock and roll and created a whole new thing. That story needs to be told. They just did the Sex Pistols thing in a docu-series, which was only kind of okay. Now, here's our chance to get the Ramones version of the thing, which might be more than just kind of okay. So until my next video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, you might like this video. All right, see you later.